My name is Dr. Quan Tran, and I'm a general surgeon here at St. Joseph Hospital North in Lutz, Florida. GERD can often be cured with surgery. Um, approximately 85 to 90 percent of patients who uh, undergo some sort of procedure for the reflux can stop taking their medications, and their heartburn is reduced to a very minimal level. TIF, or transoral incisionist fund application, is a procedure done using the endoscope, which is a uh, upper endoscopy scope. And what uh, we do in this procedure is we advance the scope into a device that goes into your esophagus, down into your stomach. And during this procedure, we were able to create and build a new valve uh, using the device and the endoscope uh, without making any incisions on your abdomen whatsoever, thus building a new barrier for your reflux. What I like about the new procedure that we do here at St. Joe's Hospital North is that the TIF is done without uh, making any incisions in the patient's abdomen at all. Uh, we still recreate the valve uh, as we do traditional surgery, uh, but we do it from the inside of the stomach as opposed to the inside of the abdomen. The patients who qualify for TIF are patients who have very straightforward anatomy. Uh, one, any esophageal obstruction uh, or strictures or narrowing or anything uh, where we can't get the device through disqualify you from being a candidate for the procedure. The other, the biggest constraint is the size of your hiatal hernia. Most people with significant reflux will have a fairly large hiatal hernia associated with it, and unfortunately, the because of the mechanics of the device, we can't correct a hiatal hernia greater than two centimeters. My experience with, with my TIF patients is that after about a week, uh, they don't have any pain at all. Whereas my traditional surgical patients will still have some lingering pain, but it's not so severe, it's unbearable. Um, those patients will take about two weeks before they fully recover from all their pain. Patients are on a fairly strict diet for the first month of the procedure. This has to do with uh, allowing the uh, inflammation and the swelling from around the new uh, fund application, the new wrap, to go down and also to have the uh, patient's uh, esophagus be trained how to swallow past a new wrap. So the patient's on a fairly strict liquid diet the first week, then they're on soft foods, and I don't allow patients to eat meats or breads for about a month after this procedure. Following that month, most patients are able to eat and drink whatever they want, and there are no restrictions.